Here is how to do the nouns assignment. We're going to use the search capability of Accordance to find all the nouns that are in Psalm 1. And to do that, we need to use the search bar to find words. So right now, we're in Psalm 1. I can get there. Uh, let's say I was somewhere else. Let's say I'm in Ecclesiastes chapter 1. And I'm then going to go down to the bottom right here of my window, my Hebrew text window, and type in PS space 1. That will get me to Psalm 1, book and chapter. So I'm going to come up to my search command bar here. Notice that I have a book and chapter typed in here. And I have the blue-gray oval here set to verses. I'm going to want to set that to words. I have two options. I'm going to set that to words. Notice that the characters that were over there are switch, have been switched over to Hebrew and a number one. And so I need to get rid of all of that. So I'm going to hit a combination of backspace and delete to get rid of all of the characters. I want a blank line here. So under words, I want a completely blank line. Now if I start typing in characters on my keyboard, I will start seeing Hebrew letters. And that's because I have a Hebrew text that I'm looking at. And so when I do searches, I'm going to be searching for Hebrew characters and words. Now what I want to do is I want to find a particular type of word. In this case, nouns. In order to enter keywords, such as noun, verb, and other parts of speech, I will first enter a left bracket. Then I'm going to type in noun. In this case, I want to find nouns. And then a right bracket. Notice that it's showing up in English. So anything inside the brackets will be in English. And I need to put in a particular type of speech. I'm going to just type in N-O-U-N inside the brackets. And then I'm going to hit return. Now performing the search. That's very nice. And notice that it brings us all the way back to Genesis 1.1. That makes sense because Genesis 1.1 has nouns in it. By typing in noun in brackets in the search bar, I am looking for every noun in the Hebrew Bible. And so Genesis 1.1 has nouns, so that's where it took us. It took us to the first occurrence of nouns, which happens to be the beginning of the Bible. So, I now want to find the nouns in Psalm 1. To do this, I'm going to come down to the bottom right corner again, and I'm going to type Psalm, or PS, abbreviation, space, 1. Return. And now I'm looking at Psalm 1, and Notice that all the nouns are highlighted. Now, I have them highlighted in teal. I picked that color under preferences, and I showed you how to do that in a previous video. Under edit, and then preferences, and then under text display, I set the search color to be teal. You can set it to be whatever you want, red or green or whatever. So I've set it to be teal, and notice that all the nouns are highlighted in teal. So I've got one there, first one in Psalm 1, the next one is over here, the next one is here, etc. So what you're being asked to do for this assignment is to identify the noun and then to parse it, meaning you're going to give its gender, number, and then its state, meaning whether it's absolute or construct. The gender is masculine, feminine. The number is singular or plural. And there's a third option, which is dual, which is not real common, and we're not going to see any in Psalm 1 anyway. So we're looking for a number of singular or plural. And then the state, which will be absolute or construct. Okay, let's do an example here. We're going to get that information from the instant details. So the first example here that's highlighted is ish. So I can get the instant details by clicking on it for about half a second, and the instant details appear below the word. 
So I come down. I don't need to do any clicking or anything else at this point. The instant details will stay up until I click somewhere else. And I'm now going to copy this information. I'm going to go to the clipboard over here on the top right of the instant details. Notice that it says copy instant details when I hover over it. I'm going to click on that clipboard to copy the instant details. Now I'm going to come over to a Word file that I have open here and I'm going to paste. I can do a control V or I can just do right click paste and copy the instant details information into my Word file. So it begins with the actual word that appears in Psalm 1, ish, then a transliteration, then the root. In this case the root is the same and we're not too concerned with the root right now. Then we have the dictionary form. And that is interesting, although in this case the dictionary form is the same as the word as it appears in Psalm 1. Then over here we have the part of speech. It's a noun. Common is not so interesting to us. We're not worried about that. But we are interested in the next three pieces of information. Masculine, singular, and absolute. So masculine tells us that we have a masculine gender. Singular indicates the number, it's singular. And absolute tells us the state, it's absolute as opposed to construct. So these three pieces of information, masculine, singular, absolute, is what the assignment is asking you to, to locate. I am going to highlight these in yellow to indicate that those are the three pieces of information that the assignment is asking you to find. And then here we get the actual translation of it. The Strong's information is not relevant to this assignment and so I'm just going to delete it. Now we're ready to move on to our next word. So come back over to Accordance. The next noun is Atsat. For this one I will use the Instant Details pane at the bottom as an alternative way to get the Instant Details. Either way is fine. You can either click on the word and get the instant details right below it, or you can see the instant details down below. I have to hit shift. I keep shift down, move the cursor down to the bottom where the instant details pane is, and then I'm going to click on the clipboard, which is here in the center of these icons. So I'm going to click the clipboard icon to copy the instant details. Then I'll come back over to my Word file and I will paste, Control V or right click, paste, and there's my word. Here's the word as it appears in Psalm 1. Here's the transliteration. Here's the root. It actually comes from a verb. We're not interested in that at the moment. Here's the dictionary form, and that is interesting. And then finally over here we have a noun. Again, common we're not too concerned about. You can just delete it or ignore it. And then we have feminine is the gender. Singular is the number. And construct is the state. So I'm going to highlight those. Those are the three pieces of information the assignment is asking for. Council is a gloss trans translation. And finally, I'm going to get rid of the Strong's information. So let's go to the third one and just do one more example here. So back to Accordance. The next noun here is Derek. So I will go ahead and click on that, get the instant details below it. Come over here, click on Copy Instant Details on the clipboard. So I've clicked that. Come over to Word. I will do a Control V or a right click Paste to get Derek. And here's the word and as it appears in Psalm 1 and here is the dictionary form. They're the same in this case. And then we have over here we have the information we're looking for. Notice that the gender shows it as both. This is not super common but it does occur and a few words can appear either as masculine or feminine. And so instant details will tell you that it's both. So go ahead and, and note that as the gender. This is also singular. 
and this is in construct state. So I will go ahead and highlight both singular construct. The gender is both. It could be masculine or feminine. The number is singular, and the state is construct. Oops, I want to highlight the whole thing. There we go. Not super important, but if you're a little bit obsessive, then you want to get everything highlighted. Okay, so that's the first three words. I'm going to delete the Strong's information. I'm not interested in that. So you'll keep doing that for all of the nouns in Psalm 1 from, from verse 1 all the way through verse 6. And so that's how you will accomplish this particular exercise. Let me give you one note on transliteration here. Let me, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. The transliteration for an Aleph is a left-facing parenthesis. And the transliteration for an ayin is a right-facing parenthesis. And with modern fonts such as Calibri, the parenthesis is always just a straight line. You don't have left and right facing. But technically for Aleph you have a left-facing parenthesis and for ayin a right-facing parenthesis. That's just a little bit of notation for transliteration and it seems to be somewhat common even though there's no set standard for transliteration the left facing for Aleph and the right facing for Ion seems to be pretty uniform across various ways to transliterate.